it has been so sad to see such a beautiful space wasted where people couldn't even park there, much less use the beach around it. Barb Johnson is talking about Surfside Park on North Beach, which has been in disrepair for years due to constant flooding. This is what the park usually looked like, but now the old structures are gone. I have two toddlers and one on the way, so if it's toddler friendly, even more of a bonus because it's kind of hard to find toddler friendly um, playgrounds around here. We were here for a mops group this morning, so yeah, so we have a lot of, lot of moms that come in. We meet them at different parks around the place, so that'll be a good one to plan on in the future whenever it's finished. These big blue waves are climbing structures. You can see hand and footholds. There will be a rubberized surface around them to protect children who are playing on the waves. Also a couple of diving dolphins and some seashells on this play area. District 1 Council Member Roy Everett, who spearheaded the $6 million renovation, said putting the restrooms on pilings was just part of the big improvement to the park. One of the things we had to do was we had to elevate it, of course, to meet the flood requirements because the old structure, even though it was grandfathered, once we tore that down, we had to follow the new um, flood zone you know, procedures. Barb Johnson believes the improved park just about completes the paradise feel of North Beach. The only other park we have is down at the end and the roads turn into dirt. So nobody understands that we have a great park down there surrounded with dirt roads. The contractor tells us the park should be complete by the beginning of June. At Surfside Park, Brian Burns, 3 News.